Why do you learn 3DS Max 9? In this lesson, we will see why you should learn 3DS Max 9. Here's the answer. It has strong modeling capabilities, a flexible plug-in architecture, and a long heritage on the Microsoft Windows platform. It is mostly used by video game developers, TV commercial studios, and architectural visualization studios. It is also used for movie effects and movie pre-visualization. 3DS Max supports animators, designers, and game developers with a unified, object-oriented platform, customizable real-time interface, multiple processor support, and 3D graphics acceleration capabilities, including extension via a wide range of plugins and specialized products such as Ball's Character Studio. In addition to its modeling and animation tools, the latest version of 3DS Max also features advanced shaders that is a part of the renderer, which is responsible for calculating the color of an object, such as ambient occlusion. This is shading method used in 3D computer graphics, which helps in adding realism to local reflection models by taking into account attenuation of light. Subsurface scattering, SSS, is a mechanism of light transport in which light penetrates the surface of a translucent object, is scattered by interacting with the material, and exits the surface at a different point. Dynamic simulation. This is used to have a computer automatically animate something like hair, cloth, liquid, fire, and particles. Particle systems. The term particle system refers to a computer graphics technique to simulate certain fuzzy phenomena. Examples of such phenomena which are commonly replicated using particle systems include fire, explosions, smoke, flowing water, sparks, falling leaves, clouds, fog, snow, dust, meteor tails, hair, fur, grass, or abstract visual effects like glowing tails, magic spells, etc. Global Illumination This is a general name for a group of algorithms used in 3D computer graphics that are meant to add more realistic lighting to 3D scenes. Radiosity A global illumination algorithm used in 3D computer graphics rendering. Normal map creation in 3D computer graphics is an application of the technique known as bump mapping, which we will discuss in upcoming lessons. Rendering. It is the process of generating an image from a model by means of computer programs. An intuitive and fully customizable user interface. And its own scripting language. The main objectives of this 3DS Max training program are to facilitate your professional growth into the world of video game development as an animator, to assist your professional growth into the world of video game development as a 3D modeler, to furnish the student with the technical knowledge and skills essential for success this program will teach students how to use 3DS Max to design, develop, automate, and animate 3D projects within a 3D scene. You will also learn to use a variety of tools to create a complete 3D scene as a portfolio piece. Emphasis is placed on modeling, texturing, and preparing models for animation. Once you have mastered the fundamentals of modeling 3D objects, you will learn 3D animation. Introduction to Object Modifiers Modifiers are basically used to reshape objects, to apply material mapping, or to deform an object surface. For your better understanding, I can give you an example of a wood shop. A wood shop is provided with all types of expensive tools and machines. Some tools are simple, like a screwdriver or a hammer, but some tools are complex, like planers, clamps, etc. Basically, they all turn or change the wood shape. 
In the same way, you can use modifiers in 3DS Max 9 to modify or reshape or turn the objects. You can see modifiers list only when an object is selected. 3D Max is loaded with different modifiers, which are categories under different headings, like selection modifiers, animation modifiers, freeform deformation, parametric modifiers, and many more. Certain modifiers are dependent on the current object selection. All these points we will see when we start using object modifiers in upcoming lessons.